Well guys, say hello to our new combine. So I'm in it right now. Now I'm gonna get out in a second and show you guys this. It's not what you guys think it is. You guys think, oh squad, you just got another case combine. What the heck, man? But no, check this out. This, here I'll shut it off quick. This is a retro version of the case 7150. Do you notice how it has a white top on the top and it's got the, like the creamy white rims and stuff? So Case, I don't know if you guys knew knew this, but Case is, uh, I think this might be the first year, but they're making a retro version Case 7150 for farmers. Like, I have a picture of it on my Instagram where I saw this literally same tractor or same combine in real life at uh, the Farm Progress show. And so they're making a retro version. It was cool and stuff. And then I saw a guy on Facebook, Eric, shout out to Eric. Eric, thank you for giving me this. Um, Eric, was, Eric was making one. I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get it. We have to get it. So... Um, there's a couple things that like maybe could Im be improved, but it was his first mod and this looks amazing for his first mod I think the red is gonna be like a little darker red and stuff I don't think it's the same type of red as this, but it's a it's dude. It is uh, it's gonna be fun now He's got and basically the thing that really tells it apart is it's got the kind of the black um, The black holding bin at the top and then it's got the white your white creamy top and it's got the white creamy uh like wheels to it and then this case header is just off of a whole different pack it's a 12 row or it's an eight row header um i've been thinking about upgrading to 12 row but i don't know if this combine has the power to handle it we'll see though so this is uh the new tractor dude you case fans you case fans wow you guys are gonna have a day today because we bought something else um international case h2 over here which i don't know if we're gonna be i don't think we're gonna be using it today i think what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it in the live stream most likely Saturday. I'm gonna put up a dedicated server so I can have a couple people on here and we can really start getting some stuff because done because right now look at that. That's bad. I got one field planted, one field starting to get dissed up. Like I'm not I'm getting nowhere really. Oh and by the way, so the truck. The truck. Now I've been making I've been making a lot of decisions. I've been thinking about this hard. I've been looking at your guys' comments. I literally look through all like nine hundred comments. And we're gonna go with the Ford. We're gonna go with the Ford. Now everybody's like, Squad, you're so biased to Ford. You you love Ford, man. You love Ford and stuff. So I mean, I guess the reason, mainly the reason we got Ford is because we've had the Cummins on here on No Creek before, and it was one of those trucks where it's a classic to keep around. I would never trade. If I got the Cummins, I would never trade in. Like if I got a new truck, I would keep the Cummins and the new truck. And I didn't tell you guys this in the video, but. I thought I said this, but w there was no way we were going to have both because everybody's always like, squad, just get both, man. Come on. Come on, man. Make us all happy. Just get both. I was like, nah, we can't get both. But hey, we're selling the F-150. I decided let's get rid of the F-150. Let's only have one truck on the farm for now. If we get a hard hand, maybe I'll buy the Cummins or I'll buy a Chevy. I got, there's no way I'm buying another Ford, just so you guys know. Um, so for now, the Combine, where do we put? Okay, for now, the Combine is going to go in here. Um, yeah, we're just going to put it in the storage for for now because we're not going to get to it for a while now i tried okay so when i got the combine i tested out a couple things oh so right now for money here i'll show you guys we have seventy three thousand dollars for money i did i so i started off the game with like half a million dollars but since i bought the combine we're down to seventy three thousand and i bought some others oh i didn't show you guys I, oh i didn't show you guys that yet but we have so much i have so much to show you guys and stuff if you're joining the video let me know. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. It's gonna be. A, it's probably gonna be a long video because I've just I have so much to cover. Um. So this corn right here, I can't harvest it. I I tried with the combine because I was thinking, hey, let's do a crazy radical video, harvesting in the spring and stuff. I want to get this corn out. So I do have a chopper though, silage chopper, a pole behind one, which is sweet. I asked everybody on Facebook. I was like, can you guys give me one? And a lot of people commented, thank you guys, thank you guys on Facebook. I just posted in the old school farming group. And so we have a Miller feed wagon, or not Miller feed wagon, a Miller uh, silage box, I guess you could say. And then we have an international 830 chopper. Now the question is, what tractor do I run on this chopper? And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure, okay, so we got a hitch there, but I'm pretty sure we're going to run, okay, so I thought about running that 706 over there. You know, the German diesel 706 with the loader, but then I was thinking, ah, that might be a little underpowered. It'd be cool to do, it might be a little underpowered. But, we have the Magnum. The Magnum that we, like, never use. So, I think Magnum, Magnum's going to have a job. Everybody's like, squat, dude, you're just so disrespectful to the Magnum, man. You never use it and stuff. Well, here we go. 
Magnum's getting a little respect. I don't know if it'll be today or if it'll be during the server, but I figured I was going to use the 8300, but the 8300 spoke up to the planner and stuff, and that would have been like, I could I could easily use Magnum. Magnum would go perfect. So we'll use the Magnum for that. Okay, I got to open the shed door, and we'll put the combine in here. I think I think there's a couple other things that could be done on the combine to get it fully retro. I think the, the red is too, like, a light shade of red. I think the old school one has a really a lot darker shade of red on it. Um, that's one thing that I noticed about it. And then he did have creamy, uh, you can get the creamy white rims on it and stuff too, which look nice, dude. It looks, it looks, it looks nice. I, I like it. This is going to be fun. What, the only thing is maybe a darker shade of red would look better on it. We'll fold this up. So, oh shoot, can we fit her in here? <laughs> we should be able to see how right now it has kind of a dark shade of red because it's not in the sun right now and the shades on it. I think that's how it, how they're uh, like kind of supposed to look. But we'll back her in all the way. Um, I guess for now we'll just put her right here. We don't won't, won't need uh, the green card out for a while, so that'll work good. There we go. So we're running case too. We have a lot of case now, man. I've been using a lot of deer, but man, we have a lot of case too. I could also use the forty twenty on that uh, chopper because we we literally haven't used the forty twenty yet. But once we get to hay. We'll start using the 4020 a ton because I can't wait to use that tractor. Excited to. There we go. We'll close this up. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series, dude. A lot of you guys, like last video, I asked, like, everybody smash that like button if you're enjoying the series. And, like, we had 1,500 likes or something. So, I think a lot of you guys, I think a lot of you guys are enjoying the series. It's definitely one of my favorite series so far. So, what I'm going to do now is get the Magnum out. Most likely take off the duels because the duels might be a little tough with this. We don't really need, we, there's no need for duels here. I'm going to take off the duels off the Magnum, hook it up, and see if it's actually going to allow us to chop the corn. I don't... I, the thing is, I don't know if it will because it's springtime right now in seasons. By the way, I have my HUD off just because I thought it would be uh, thought it'd be a little better taking the HUD off. Okay, the Magnum. This is going to be perfect tractor for it. 7250. Pull over here. We'll pull into the shop and take off the duels. There we go. Dude, I haven't used this tractor yet. Oh, that's bad. Um, shoot, usually there's a garage door opener on the other side, but, and usually I can, like, reach it from here. I can, like, kind of reach in there. I don't know. I think that's one thing that needs to be fixed about this map. Now, I talked to a guy. There's a guy that's editing this map. He's doing crazy edits to this map and stuff, and he's fixing a lot of stuff, but, uh, it's going to be a while until he gets the final version done and stuff. It's not the original creator. It's a different guy that's kind of working on it. So, hopefully he gets it done soon. Oh, maybe I have to have... What the heck? There we go. Now we got her. Perfect. Oh, okay. So, like I said, we did go with the F-350. Now, I don't know. Do you guys like this maroon color on it? I don't know. Maybe I should... I'm going to test out a couple different colors to see what we really want for a color. But we'll fire her up. Dude, this is a loud truck, dude. Oh, it just sounds cool. There we go. We got the power stroke up there. F-150 is going to be sold. Actually, right now, we're just going to sell it kind of quick and just get rid of it right now. I was going to, like, kind of put it outside. Too bad you couldn't put it for, for sale sign, like, on the corner or something. But we're just going to get rid of it right now. $25,000. There we go. So we're at $99,000 right now. We're, that's, that's a good point. That's a good amount of cash to be holding, um, especially if something comes up. So what we're going to do... Pull the Magnum in here. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can switch out. Oh, that's right. I don't know if I can switch out. Yeah, I don't think I can uh, do any shop work there. But, oh, wait. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, no. The truck doesn't have it. But the truck, you can either put a fuel tank or you can put a toolbox. And the toolbox allows you to, like, change, take off duels and stuff. It's basically like a uh, a movable workshop is what it is. It's in the back of the truck. So that would be kind of nice. Right now I have the fuel tank back there, though. So eventually once we get that, that'll be that'll be fun. Okay, Magnum. We want duels off wide singles. I wonder what wide singles look like. Just just for just for checking stuff out. Wide singles. So I think. Okay, what did wide singles? What about what was the other one? Narrow singles? Was it narrow singles? Oh shoot, we gotta like move this back in place. Those front wheels are pretty wide on this Magnum though. That's one thing I did notice a lot. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so what's 
wide duels, wide singles, wide weights, what's wide weights? Firestone duels, wide singles, because that's what we're on, wide duels, let's Firestone weights. Okay, now we we don't want weights. Oh, but that will be nice. I should I should uh, keep track of that. Wide duels, wide singles, wide weights, Firestone duels. Oh, Firestone singles, which we haven't tried yet. What do you guys like? Firestone singles? I think we had some good... Before, when I went regular singles, I think it looked uh, maybe a little better even. I hate how this front end, the front end of this tractor is so... It's wide. It's It's pretty wide. I mean, that doesn't... I think that's good. It's good right there. Hold on, let me go back to... We had another singles. I forgot what it was. Wide singles. So I think the front end... I'm pretty sure the front end is, like, wide. Pretty sure that's what's happening. I can't tell, though. I'm going to go back to Firestone singles. But I want a narrow front end on this. Okay, I think Firestone singles will work fine. That'll be good. There we go. So now we'll go hook up to... Was it the International 850? I forgot what it was. I forgot what the model was. I, I think it might have been an 850. So we'll hook up to this. And we'll see if this works. I don't know, guys. This this might be... Oh, the one thing I always forget to put in is manual attach, man. I gotta get this in soon. There we go. We're there. And then now let's hook up to the box. It's gonna be weird gonna be a little weird now I've never seen this like I've never seen this happen in real life I've never seen like any of this like actually go down I'd love to actually see it happen in real life so I know what I'm doing like fully and stuff but for now okay dude I should not have everything's kind of oh we're kind of climbing up a ditch and stuff oh man there we go in case it gets a little muddy though we do have front wheel assist which is nice okay dude we gotta we got to move this uh, this box. We really got to move this box. So I'm going to quick get out the 806 and I'm going to grab the 806 and or the 706. 706? Yeah, I think it's 706 over here, not an 806. We're going to go move that uh, that box. 706. There we go. I was thinking this might be a little underpowered to run that chopper. So that's, that's the reason why we did it. I was like, let's use the Magnum. We really should use Magnum. And then we got to get disking with the 8970 yet. We got to get planning. For some reason, this map is always. Hopefully, it doesn't rain on us. I'm going to run the clock a little bit. But for some reason, this map is always like. I don't know. The, the shading and the colors. Real weird, weird. It's not like really bright out ever, I guess. I'm going to get to noon and see how bright it is outside. It could be the shader that I have also. Also, like the shader makes everything look so much more realistic. It's insane. There we go. So what you do is, okay, hold on. We'll shut off the clock. But eventually what you do is you're going to hook up to, I guess I could have another person run behind it, but we're going to hook up to the uh, chopper over there. And eventually once we're done, we're going to unhook it quick and then take another tractor, 4020 or the 806, and then pull this back in and uh, put our, and then put our silage. Oh, where are we going to put this? That's right, dude. I think there, you know what? There's a silage pit over there. We're going to have to put it in. I think is. The only way, usually you'll blow it up a silo and stuff, but I don't know if the silos are going to work. I don't think, for some reason, I don't think the silos are going to work at all. So, let's unhook this. Move the 806 around back here and then hook up the chopper. I, I doubt this is going to work today, guys. I, w I wish it would, but I think we've got to go to like early summer or late summer or early fall to actually allow us to chop. We'll see, though. So, I think this right here is this is a hitch, but it's a hydraulic hitch. So, it'll just lift up and down so you don't actually have to get up. Put the pin in and uh, to be able to hook it up. Okay. We'll back around here with International. <laughs> oh, it's kind of a tight turn. Oh, I think we, we got her pretty good. There we go. We're hooked up now, dude. Oh, gosh. We, okay, so we got to go through this fence right here. This gate, I should say. Open this. I hope this works. I really hope this works because this would be sweet. Now, if this works, we're not really going to get chopping much today because we still got to get disc implanted. And this is kind of just for fun. I just want to see if this kind of works. Hopefully it does. It'd be cool if it does. 
Okay, so but before we get in the field, I get this all set up, make sure everything's working here. So, pipe out, yes. Oh, shoot. There we go. The pipe is out. There we go. It's just gonna shoot right in the box. Lower harvester. Unfold harvester first. We could have. Uh, no. Nah, duels wouldn't have worked good with this. Turn on harvester. Oh, it works. It works. Oh, yes. But we have the animations. Oh, we have the animations and everything, guys. Okay, I gotta do like a little bit. We gotta chop a little silence through here. Oh, nice. Okay, so you guys know what we're gonna be doing Saturday. I can't believe it works. I can't believe it works, dude. This is gonna be fun. Maybe we'll get two of these running. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Dude, we can go extremely fast, too. I, I need to set cruise control on something. Um, let me lo lower cruise control a ton. To, like, five. There we go. We got a pull beyond chopper. We're chopping right now. Oh, nice, dude. We are running. Oh, this is gonna work perfect. It's nice having this magnum on her, too. Wow. For some reason, it's not... Okay, there we go. Now it's shooting back there. Oh, shoot. Man, this is gonna be tough going around this field. In the outer edges. How do you do this, guys? Like, how would you do this? Would you just leave some of the... It's tough, you know, because you don't want to be going through this and stuff also. For now, we're doing pretty good. There we go. I'll just keep cruise control at 6 mile an hour. We'll just roll right along her. It's working. Sometimes you don't see the animation. Eventually, you'll see the animation of it spraying. I think it just gets rid of it all at once. Not spraying, I should say, but... Where's the animation? It should be shooting back there. Huh. That's weird, because I saw it spraying before. Not spraying. Sorry, I keep using the term spraying. Pipe in. Unload here. I don't know if it's actually going right now, guys. To be honest, it was going perfectly. We don't see any... For some reason, it doesn't show anything stored back there. But it says we have 1%. I'll turn this off. And I'll turn it on and see what happens. Man, I'd love to see the animation of it actually going back there. Oh, there we go. Now we got the animation. Maybe it just takes a while to fill up. I think that could be it too. It'll just take a while to fill up. And then once it gets to a certain point, it's raised back there. But it would always be cool. It'd be cool to just always see that animation going. Oh, there we go. Now we see it. Maybe it's my angle I'm driving at, too. Once I make a turn, it seems like it always goes. There we go. Oh, my gosh, dude. I need, I need to stay on track. This is kind of tough. I keep looking back the whole time. See, right now, it says we're not filling up, but... Ah, this is kind of weird. Because you would think... Huh. I don't know if this is working properly, guys. Because it'll start spraying... Dude, this, I'm missing so much, too. Man, I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna unload here. Oh, nope. We do not. Oh, shoot. Darn it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see where this spray's at, where it goes off. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to, like, figure this out. Help me here, guys. Like, if you guys know how this works and why it's not going into the box fully. Because it was working. We did have it working pretty good there for a second. I just want to get this down so when we start, when we actually start chopping, it all works fine. There we go. We filled it up a little bit. But it fills up so slow. It should be, it should definitely be going a lot faster, I feel like. And maybe it's the box, maybe it's the international, I don't know. Stuff to say. Okay, for now, we're going to stop her. Turn around, I guess. I gotta, we gotta see what's all going on here. But for now, we'll fold the pipe in. Old harvester. And yeah, that's it for now, I guess. Okay, so we'll head on down the road. Okay, we made it all the way around the field. Okay, I gotta figure that out for Saturday to, to get it working perfect. But it worked. I mean, that was pretty cool. Oh, it worked so far. It's gonna take a. Dude, if we're gonna actually. I don't know if we're gonna actually chop this whole field because that's gonna be a while. That's gonna be a ton. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a lot. 
And then there's the little chaff that we made. It said we made, but we definitely made a lot more chaff than that. So I'll have to kind of test it out. We'll see. Um, I'd like to hit that road. I'd like to not take this way back, but it's fine. We can take this way back, too. There we go. So I think for now, I'm going to leave the Magnum connected. We're just going to leave the Magnum set outside. I'm going to get your guys' feedback, because I really need your guys' feedback on what's going wrong there. So, I don't know. Sometimes I just can't uh, figure things out, and I guess there's something going wrong there. Maybe everybody's going to spam the same thing and just be like, Squat, you forgot to hit one button. Maybe I forgot to hit one button and didn't work properly. I just hope we can get this... Uh, working properly and it could be the Miller feet the Miller box too it could be that the silage box back there so who knows I could try another silage box or I could try another chopper too there's lots of the different things we could do here get okay. crawl up the hill with a magnum a little bit there we go now where do I leave this thing at for now I think we'll just uh, we'll just we can just put her outside right here there we go. Dude, I can't wait to actually get cows. Like, we, okay, so we have four cows right now, but they're basically, they're probably dead, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, I'm basically, their health is so bad. Okay, we have two cows now, so two of them died. But anyways, those four cows were just a test to see if they walk around out here. We don't technically, like, own them or anything. And we don't even have feed for them. So, I mean, maybe, you know what? Maybe to save some money, I should just sell them right now. So I can go over here and sell the other two. Just save some money instead of just letting them die. That'd probably be better. So we'll go sell them. Even though technically when we sell them, they just go to the slaughterhouse. But um, anyways, there we go. We can actually get some money for them now. So we'll sell two of them. Wow. Okay, maybe they don't sell for a lot because they're in bad health. I don't know. So we only got a 1000 bucks for them. 968 bucks. Wow. Okay, I thought we'd get a little better than that, but that's fine. That's fine. So for now... I think what we're going to do is... Let me hook that 350 up to the seed tender, too. Also. And then for now, let's get the diesel back here. And then let's go hop in the 8970. I'll take the Ranger out there to hop in the 8970 as well, too. Oh, shoot. There must be something blocked there. There we go. Dude, I love the sounds of this. Oh, man. Oh, wait, do we need more seed? Nah. Okay, never mind. We're disking. We don't even need seed. So there we go. That's going to be the setup. The 7250 with the chopper in the chopper box right there. This should be interesting. I just got to... I don't know. I got to figure that out. I got to figure that out why that's not working. It could be... I'm sure it's something... It's probably something on my end that I'm not doing right, too. The 4020, man. I can't wait to use this tractor for hay or for bush hogging or something. I just need the grass to grow a little more. We have our baler. We have our manure spreader, which who knows how long it'll be till we use that. And uh, we have our rake here, too. I could, 4020 could literally go on every single... All that right there. So we'll get the ranger. Head up to the field. Get the 8970 going. Now, speaking of 8970, see on Facebook. And, okay, I gotta say, I bet this is because of our videos and how I started using this 8970 in the series but um, some guy on Facebook was like a while back the 89 uh, it was custom modding on Facebook it was like a while back the 8970 got released and it wasn't finished all the way and it was a leaked mod so now that people are starting to use it again I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this mod or something like that or I'm gonna finish it so it looks like he's making a final version for this 8970 here and we're gonna get a better version which will be cool I mean I think he's going to just add a lot more detail to it. Right now, there's not too much detail um, to it and stuff. So it'll be cool. Custom modding literally makes probably some of the best tractor mods in Farming Simulator. Like, it's insane. You make some good 8Rs, some good 9Rs. So it'll be it'll be nice to have a new tractor. I'm going to try to talk to him, see if we can get our hands on it early. That'd be nice because, you know, we actually use it. we, we got a good series going here, and I would really love to have the best version. So right now... Let's dis this all up. I'm thinking maybe I should come back with the cultivator and cultivate this, but we don't have too much time, I guess. I can't wait for Saturday, hopefully during the live stream, when I can, when we all play together. Oh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice because we can actually get, I can actually get a lot more work done. And then I got to get, that means I got to give you guys all the mods. So I'm going to try to put this on decade. We'll try to get it on decade, try to get it all working and stuff. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, forgot to turn on uh, create a field. That's a problem. There we go. I probably need to get GPS mod, but here for the rest of the video, guys, we're basically, we technically haven't even got anything done. Like, it's bad. Like, I go 22 minutes, and we still haven't even, like, really got any work done, I guess. So, I'm going to try to get this whole thing done. That's the goal. Get, like, all of this done. That'd be nice if we could. So, it's probably going to be, like, a time lapse, too, of this. I'm thinking I'll do... I'll probably do one more headland, and then I'm just going to start going back and forth up and down this, and it will take forever, but fine. It'll be good. It'll be good. There we go. Okay, I'm going to kind of cut this this turn here a little bit. I know I'm not hitting the corners perfectly, but it's fine. It's fine for now. It'll She'll do, I feel like. There we go. This corner, I may have to actually back up and turn around. There we go, we'll lift her up. And then I think the guy that's making the 8970, he has a lot, a lot of different tire options on it that will look a lot better on this, which will be nice. There's so much glare in the tractor cab. You guys notice that? There's so much glare off that sun. Drop her down and keep going. Actually, this field won't, this field shouldn't take too long. Hopefully I actually use all my discs. Right now I'm kind of cutting the edges. I should try to use all my disc here. There we go. An 89.70 is climbing. So, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm excited to put this on dead, kid. And to have some help here, actually. Actually start getting some stuff done. That'll be fun. That'll be nice. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is start on this end. Over here and just work my way. Ah, what way do I work my way, though? I could. There's also... I think I'll just work my way up and down. Yeah, we'll just go up and down. That should work good. There we go. And so for, I guess for the end of this video, or maybe I'll talk at the end a little bit, but mo the, most of the rest of the video is going to be time lapse. You guys are always like, squad, I want more time lapses, man. It's cool what you're doing. I want some more time lapses. So that's what we're going to be doing. We'll have a time lapse going right now. Well guys, we're just finishing up our last little bit. Now, I wasn't gonna, oh shoot, oh man, we gotta get it, I've been, we gotta get it, we gotta go back. You guys saw me go back one time during the time lapse, well, if you watch the whole time lapse, but man, one thing about this disc is sometimes it'll fold real weird, like it'll fold, like the edges will fold in and stuff, that's one thing I noticed about this disc, but other than that, this is a good disc, everything's been working good besides when we have to climb that hill over, th hill over there, it's kind of tough when we have to climb that hill over there. You'll hear your pull. One thing I should have done is maybe not time lapse it. Maybe you just let the sounds just let you guys hear the sounds because it does sound pretty cool, especially when you go up hills. You can hear it chug a little harder and stuff. Um, that's what I like about this 8970. We'll head over here, drop her down, and then we got to climb that little hill to get that little spot on the hill, and then we should be good. I'll probably take her back and uh, maybe put her in the shed. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe probably just leave it outside or. I may just leave it outside next to the field, take the ranger back. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then I can have somebody plant this. I don't know if it'll be me or if it'll be a helper on Saturday. I'd love to have somebody plant this, and we can just keep going from there and work on our two other fields. And then summer comes, and then harvest comes. We're ready to rock and roll, and then eventually we get cows is the goal, the plan. Here we go, guys. 
She's pulling. You can see the front slipping. The front's definitely slipping because we got weight in the back. Look at the front just trying to pull up there. Oh, dude. There we go. I should pro probably should disc up the hill. Probably should start disking down the hill. But there we go. We're done with her. Finally. I was going to hire out a worker, but I don't think you can hire out a worker for this field. So we'll fold her up and then I'm just going to leave her out here and we'll take the Ranger back. That's what we'll do. There we go. She is done. Perfect. 8970. She's working. She's working good. She's not overheating. Dude, I wonder what it'd be like if farmers had uh, you know, had to do all their heavy pulling, heavy tillage and stuff when it wasn't cold out. Like imagine if harvest was just in the middle of the summer when it's like extremely hot out, like 95 degrees. And I, I just imagine you'd have a lot of equipment just overheating and stuff like crazy, especially especially if you're harvesting stuff when it's always 100 degrees and stuff. Eventually, you'd, I feel like you'd catch fires so much more easily, but that'd be interesting. I guess people run tractors and stuff for construction all in the summer when it's, it's crazy hot out and stuff. So I'm, I'm sure they have some overheating pro problems maybe. But uh, anyways, we'll take the Ranger up to... We'll take the ranger up to the shed, and then I don't know what we're going to do. Well, this is the end of the video, but I'm not, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think I'm going to have Saturday morning farming still, and then the Saturday the Saturday uh, evening like dedicated server and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what we do, guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button, guys, and hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.